Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings, and I welcome you guys to Support Science with Guest. <laughs> you know, this there must be so much great Support Science material for you in this game. It, there's so much. <laughs> there are so many supports. There's, there's so much. And I'm actually kind of conflicted right now, because I wanted to do... The, I wanted to have the Dimitri Support Science out for, like, end of September, but I realized, like... I feel like a bunch of people still haven't played Blue Lions yet, like... Mm, maybe, I don't know what the most popular house is. Black Eagles for sure, but I'm not sure if the Golden Deer or Blue Blue Lions are before yeah. or after well, that. Well, I, I just think about it, like, I still haven't even finished my second playthrough yet. And it's just oh. like, I don't know, I don't know if, like, I should be, like, trying to have this big effortful video when the audience might not be as, like, ready for it so mm. i have to consider whether i just want to like, make sure the script is done and everything and then like pick a time when it's appropriate to upload it yeah well speaking there's of no, uh, there's no rush at all like there's not <laughs> this game will be relevant for some time i think people ain't gonna lose interest in it for a while i think people love this game well people have never lost interest in blazing sword no <laughs> <laughs> that's true all right well time for dimitri x Raphael. hey dimitri I heard about what you did. Hmm? What are you talking about, Raphael? Some folks are saying you lifted a whole wagon on your own. And you made it look easy. Yeah, dude, he's got more uh, strength growth than you, I think. I suppose I do recall <laughs> something like that. I'm actually I curious. I the toppled wagon, you see. Those people needed my aid, so I aided them. Let's see, what Dimitri. 60%. You gotta teach me your training secrets. And Raphael has 50%. You yep. my training secrets? <laughs> so you can build more muscle? I'm sorry, but I honestly don't think I can offer anything that would help you. The royal family has always been blessed with immense strength. I imagine it's largely due to our blood. <laughs> you can say that again. Our crests. No, come on. You don't have to keep your secrets from me. As I said, I really wish I could help, but... Look, logistics aside... Why are you so interested in my strength to begin with? I want to be really strong like you. I don't just wanna, I gotta. I've had to provide for my little sis ever since our parents died. If I want to do that, I gotta get strong so I can become a knight. I see. In that case, I suppose I could try to help you. Though I meant it when I said I'm not sure I have much to offer. Really? Oh yeah! I'm no expert on the topic of building muscle. Eat protein? However, for greater strength, you could try devoting more time to spear and sword training. You probably already know that, huh? No, of course you do. Let's see. As a child, I was forced to train by running through the mountains all night in heavy armor. Really? You had to run all night in heavy armor? That sounds tough. What else did you do? Aside from that... I trained by lifting large boulders <laughs> or carrying multiple barrels. Oh, where's the Dimitri box? workout video, guys? I'm gonna give that a try. Oh right boy, now. that's gonna be brutal. Wait a moment. <laughs> you don't want to push yourself too hard too quickly. You'll damage yourself if you're not careful. You shouldn't worry so much. I know my limits. My muscles are gonna be so big after this. <laughs> Get <laughs> fucking you! <laughs> Hello, Raphael. You gotta stop training bitch ass weak exercise. You got to ride with every armor and walk up a fucking mountain. <laughs> you need to fill bags with rocks and walk. I, I will show you big Christoph Dominic training. What do you do? Do bitch ass dumbbell press? Have some tea. Oh. Dimitri is like, instead of Dominic, it's Dimitri. <laughs> My name is Dimitri. I am Dimitri Alexander <laughs> Bladed. Bladed. I am a crest of Bladed. <laughs> My crest ability has me double my weapon uses and double my strength. Cause I ain't no bitch ass. I break the dumbbell. <laughs> like I break my weapons. Is there something wrong with that? Meanwhile, Mir said it's You don't have to bother with all this. Man, you don't give a pay your I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to Oh shit, what happened? You just remind me so much of my Oh brother. no. We should Don't probably go th go through the logs again. This oh, is probably pro important. Probably. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> this gave Felix further shock. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's so shocked. All right. Let's see. Uh, um. Mm -hmm. 
Have some tea. Please don't. Clothes are dirty. What's wrong with you? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just making tea. You're not my mother. I'm so sorry. Just remind. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. His name is Emil. We have different fathers, but we grew up in the same household. That is, until I was about eight or nine years old. I haven't seen him since then. Sorry to state the obvious, but I'm not your brother. I'm not Emil. Can't you find someone else to bother? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll leave you alone. Don't be mean to Mercy. Please help yourself to more tea if you'd like. I can leave the pot. Goodbye. Aww. Bye. Felix Hugo Fraldarius. There is no one else. <laughs> could you try? Like, I could cut myself on that dialogue. <laughs> Brother. Oh my god. Uh, that Brother. triggers him. Can you that withstand him. the weight of one who has life has already passed? <laughs> Sorry, who Felix. are you? <laughs> I'm me. Sorry, I'm you. Sorry, Felix fanboys, but like, dead brother thing is just so overused in edgy storyline writing. Here's the problem with Felix that I feel like is a valid critique. Yeah? He's like... People like are... I think I might have even mentioned this before, mm. but there is instances where he's a little too much. Like, yeah. there can, like you can be a really great like edgelord character or whatever and like have like that kind of grit and like that aggressiveness yeah but like sometimes it's a little too much mm. and oh, i feel yeah. like there is instances where felix is like almost comically aggressive yeah and yeah and it's like those kind of instances where it's like yeah i mean yeah felix is kind of a dick for the most part but there's there's definitely some points where it's a little heavy-handed mm. Yeah, and, like it's a little random yeah. how edgy he is oh, no. oh boy this is gonna it's felix he's coming right at me oh boy if I run, he'll chase me. Maybe if I just hold really, really still. <sighs> <laughs> okay, this is funny. <laughs> Whatever it is, I didn't do it, I swear. Unless I'm offending you just by standing here. Yes. <sighs> no, here. I believe this is yours. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's my satchel. Wait. Where did you get that? Stop asking questions and just take it. No! <laughs> Why are you acting like this? Acting? Does this terror on my face look fake to you? You're being difficult. Come on, this is yours. I can't. Your icy glare has frozen me completely. Shut up. Just <laughs> No! Please don't kill me. What? Who's going to... My sword! How did you? I can't do this anymore! Uh, what an odd girl. <sighs> but she's certainly caught my attention. I've never seen that technique before. She managed to teleport oh, behind me. I still have to give this back to her. <sighs> I was giving Shut up! Just <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's get the Felix support out of the way. Oh, Felix Dorothea, that should be good. They're Fia Sassy. Felix, my goodness, I swear you're always drained. Oh, I miss her hat. Such a hard worker. So strong. Hello? Felix? What? You can hear me. <laughs> what? That's good. I was worried maybe your ears didn't work. What do you want? Oh, nothing. Nothing in particular, I mean. But now that I'm here, and now that you've asked, when you finished up, do you think you'd like to join me in the dining hall for something sweet? Ooh. I'll pass. I don't like sweets. Felix. <laughs> also, you're a nuisance. Felix. <laughs> That's not a very nice way to talk to a classmate. Wait, you're not? Anyway, oh, right, you're in the... Like yeah, right, she joined me. She's... Cat. Of course. Shh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Not a stray cat, Felix, and I am not leaving until you take a moment to chat with me. Ah, <sighs> you are a pest. Fine, do what you will. Oh, you better believe I am going to keep doing exactly what I will. <gasps> huh? Hmm, maybe instead of a sweet treat, we can get something spicy. 
Would you like that? I've heard the dining hall is serving a dish with some Western Just give it up, Dorothea. Mm. Does that sound good, Felix? Would you like something spicy instead of sweet? You're distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> when I am hungry, I will eat alone. Stop squawking at me. <laughs> well, since you asked so nicely, I'll leave you in peace. Goodbye, Felix. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> He's savage, man. Felix, man, why, why, is, why are you like that? Why do you feel like that, man? He just is. <laughs> he's really nice to Annette, though. Because Annette supports, he's like, really, like, teasing her and stuff. Yeah, he's, he's chill. But I guess there are I think it's because with Annette, like, Annette's not actively trying to talk to him. Like, mm. he walks in on Annette. And like everyone else, they're trying to talk to him, and he's like, "Fuck off." <laughs> yeah, I think that's the key difference there. He's a very like, yeah, that definitely oh, seems no, to be the case. This isn't right. Now what am I supposed to do? What's the matter, Mercedes? I accidentally made this food much sweeter than I wanted. Oh no. Let me taste it. Hmm. Yeah, a little sweet. What if we try adding a few spices? Huh? This is delicious. You're an amazing cook, Ash. My dad used to own a restaurant. I helped out a lot around the kitchen, even as Wait, a really? kid. Wow, that's a lot of responsibility to take Is this on Lenato he's talking about, or...? No wonder you no. always work so hard. <laughs> I might learn something if I watch you cook. Well, but if no his dad promises. owned a restaurant, why did he become a thief? I just have a little bit of experience, that's He probably all. But look died. at you, you're great oh, at baking right. cakes. <laughs> it's true that I'm quite good at baking. But I'm not the best when it comes to seasoning. Maybe it's because I don't like spicy food? It's tough to make food taste good when you don't enjoy it. I just had an idea. If the reason I can't cook spicy She's food gonna is give it because to I him. don't like it, then all I have to do is eat some spicy food. If I don't learn to that. like it, then I'll be better at making it, right? Hard read, I thanks. Know, maybe. <laughs> what makes you I'm say bad that? at reading Mercedes. No, no, no. None of that matters. Once I've made a decision, I have to go with it. I'll make something spicy right away. Oh, this won't end well. If I leave her to it, she'll make an even bigger mess. Hey, Ash, which seasonings should I use? These ones? Use the death chili. Um, oh, hold on, Mercedes. Let me show you. That one goes best with meat. But for stir fry, what you really want is this. Oh, okay. All right. So far, the Ash reports are pretty cute, but they're not particularly super interesting, I find. Yeah, I mean, some are really great. So, Ash is just like a good kid, I guess. He's, he's a wholesome character, but he's not the most exciting out of the crew so far. I want to hear more about his backstory. It's quiet here. Easier to concentrate. Steve is playing. It really is. Maybe he's made it past chapter 10. Would you like to study together? We can help each other out if we get stuck. Oh, yes. We'll get a lot more done working. I'm sorry, Steve. I love it, you. Is, is this like the rip into oh. the Epi tubers hour? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. What the hell happened there? What's the matter, Ash? This question's got me stumped. A ballista inside a castle is ready to fire at enemies outside. What angle should be used for the shot? Assume the ballista is the same as those in Garrig Mach. Ignore the effects of wind. This Tree is ten for range. Defensive strategy, isn't it? Why is it so complicated? Don't you just aim and fire? Hmm. It may help to focus on maximizing target accuracy to reduce your miss rate. To start, let's sort out the setup. You need a lot of. This you need at least sixteen decks. Specifications. Is this one of those meta the supports where they talk about like in-game stats? They'll hit the enemy lines, right? Oh, kind that of? makes <laughs> sense. Because the enemy line will be here. That's it. Okay, now try using that same technique and applying it to this other problem. If the walls are this high and the enemy lines are at that distance... Oh, I think I see. I knew you'd get it. Wow, I didn't expect math of all things <laughs> to be useful in the scene. <laughs> this is tough. Numbers are not my strong suit. But this really is the sort of thing to you the have support. to know if you want to command troops. That's true, but not everyone is good with numbers. No. <laughs> our practitioners do these calculations for us, or prepare them before we go to battle. A century ago, the Empire's mathematicians played a huge role in the Battle of the Wall of Fodlan. I had no idea. 
Do you really know what you're doing, Annette? <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. You've obviously done a Not lot of studying. Guys. I really admire that. I suppose I have. Studying is a necessity if you want the advantage over your enemies. <laughs> but necessity aside, it's nice to hear you say that. Why don't you compliment me like this, Mangs? <laughs> Why do you treat me like that? <laughs> I'm the Annette to your Ash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the amount to my ash guest. That's this is what this is exactly what you are. All right, let's get let's get, let's get this. It, it, it's real when you say it like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, let me guess. She's gonna pray. Oh. Oh. Hello, Ferdinand. Did you come to pray? I did. I quite like the atmosphere in the cathedral. It is holy and solemn. Perfectly suited to a noble, wouldn't you say? Uh, I guess so. You guess so? I think the matter is rather clear-cut. It is incumbent upon nobles that we pray regularly to the goddess. The piety of the nobles is a model for commoners. It teaches them the value of devotion. Absolutely. I know exactly what you mean. I couldn't agree more. These days, many nobles scarcely, if ever, pray. Look around. You and I are alone in this cathedral. It is really quite a shame. Ah, well, I don't really know that I count as a noble anyway. I am afraid the nobility seems to be losing its way. When you pray, you are usually alone, right? Um, yes, you're right. I usually am. Precisely. Where are the others? Of course you cannot force people to worship. That is out of the question. Nobles must determine for themselves what they will believe and how they will pray. A religion foisted on you without your say is not much of a religion at all. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes, I definitely agree. Definitely. I think you lost okay. her a bit there, Ferdy. On the other hand, we cannot stand idly by while. Um, it was great talking to you, but I'm getting pretty sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get off to bed. Good night. All in all, one has to conclude. <laughs> Mercedes, where did she go? Oh, Ferdy, man. I inspired her to go out and revive the faith. Perhaps I should do the same. I cannot let her show me up. Oh, Ferdinand von Eyre. Ferdinand. I to, I'll be right back. Oh, okay. All right, well. Guys, I have to go pray. All right, Gas is going to go pray. I'm going to look at, or we're going to check out support. Well, I actually, funnily enough, I actually did have Jake make this. Which is kind of funny. But, uh... Yeah, so let's watch an Ingrid, uh... Ooh, Ingrid Sylvain. Let's watch Ingrid Sylvain, guys. Let's go. That was quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? Hot You're my friend. One of my oldest, in fact. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? Casualties? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Casualties? You mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny. My granny! <laughs> Come on. I was eight, and she was gorgeous. That was a long time ago. Sylvain hit on Ingrid's grandmother? <laughs> wow. People can hear you. Oh my Please God. be quiet. When I should not watch this one, guys. We went to that harvest <laughs> festival, and you started making eyes at a scarecrow. A scarecrow? <laughs> Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were 15, you sought, <laughs> relentlessly, might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwendol's daughter. Who do you suppose made peace with the Furious Lord despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me, always for you. Every time. What a jerk. <laughs> you know what? This conversation is over. I'm done. Oh, that was My a good point one. is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. <laughs> Are you happy now? Ah, <laughs> uh, the Ingrid and Sylvain. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvain likes grandmas. <laughs> that was great. Oh, my 
my god! I, I picked it. I, was, I, was, I thought it was going to be a little boring. It was great. <laughs> People started to talk. In Ingrid is basically like the babysitter of the three houses. I I figured. I figured. It was just funny. It was like, fucking, you came on to my grandmother. It's like, oh, she was gorgeous. Like, come on, Sylvain. Come on, dog. One thing is liking mature women, but you're taking it a step too far. What's the matter, Annette? You look upset. I'm just so, so sorry. I had no idea. I'm not sure I follow. Take a breath. What's going on? Well, I was really. All right, now I remember their season four. Things like makeup. So I asked some of our friends about it, and oh, I see. I imagine they mentioned that my family was fairly poor, and they probably also mentioned that I lost my fiance. Glenn, right? Correct. They did. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. It was thoughtless of me to try pushing those things on you. It's perfectly fine, Annette. It's true, my family struggled financially. It wasn't easy growing up, but it taught me values I wouldn't have learned otherwise. And we weren't so poor that I consider myself deprived. I'm sure my family would have bought me makeup if I had wanted it. But it never mattered enough to me. Not then, and not now. Oh, so you just never sought that stuff out? Never. While I acknowledge it can be fun, fussing over my outward appearance isn't an instinct of mine. When I was younger, I'd usually be found covered in dirt, bugs in my hair, and a big smile on my face. Things haven't changed too much since. Then, when my fiancé passed on, my priorities shifted even further. It reminded me of what's most important in life. Beyond that, hmm. it's hard to think of myself changing without him around to see it. Even if it's something trivial like how I present myself. But talking to you has helped me realize it's okay to loosen up and enjoy mm, those that things makes sense. if I want. So, thank you. Me? Oh, I didn't do anything at all. Except pester. More importantly, do you notice anything different about me today? Yes. It's very subtle, but I could tell right away that you were using that makeup I gave you. You could? Oh, that makes me happy. I was trying to apply it just how you showed me. You did great, and it really suits you. I think there's a lot I can learn from you, Annette. You've helped me embrace a lighter side of life I quite like. It's my pleasure. Ooh, this is so great. Wanna go shopping to celebrate? Uh, shopping? But what would we buy? That sounds so overwhelming. <laughs> there's a dress I've been eyeing for a while now. I'm certain it will compliment your pretty eyes. Just leave it to me, Ingrid. I'll make you the most fabulous night this world has ever seen. Well, that does sound fun. I look forward to it. Wait, do they not have an ace for? Nope. Why not? No idea. <laughs> Maybe it's because it got resolved? I don't know. Some just ended B rank. I don't that's get a, it. That's a shame. Considering, yeah, like, you have, like, A+, plus and C+, plus and B+, plus and stuff like that? That's weird. Yeah, I really don't know why they decided to do that, but they did. <laughs> I mean, maybe they felt it was, like, resolved. Hey, Annette, hitting the magic books again? Has anyone ever told you that you're pretty cute when you're Sylvain. studying? Sorry, Sylvain, but I'm trying to think right now. Could you keep quiet for a bit? How can you stay focused reading a book that thick? With such small print. Thick! Is some of that text upside down? If I use the formula in this line here, the magical energy should... No, that's not right. You're even cuter when you're working through a difficult problem. Sylvain, I'm serious. <laughs> Please be quiet. Yeah, hang on. Look at the third line. You've got the formula wrong. I said the... Oh, you're right. How did you know that? Well, I mean, it's written right there. Most people wouldn't be able to grasp this formula just by glancing hmm. at it. Have you read this book before? Nope, this is the first time. Okay, now that I look at it... Wow, this book makes things way more complicated than they need to be. Hmm... And what's your take on this part here? It's just describing another application for the same formula. <laughs> this is pretty easy. Wow, he's you a know, smart boy. You're actually kind of amazing. I've been studying magic for a while now, but even I have trouble with this stuff. You act like all you do is mess around, but are you actually working really hard in secret? Nah, hanging out with girls is way more fun. I guess I just <laughs> picked this stuff up somewhere. He does have a hidden talent for reason, Life magic. is short, Annette. If you waste it working hard, it'll be over before you know it. Get out in the world. Have some fun. 
That's easy wow. for you to say. Moral of the story, don't work You're hard. Strong and smart without even trying. It's not fair. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to be rude. No, I was just thinking you're pretty cute when you're sulking. You know that? What is wrong with you? Hey, uh, I just got lucky with that stuff in the book. I'd normally never be able to outsmart you. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and leave you to it. Got lucky, huh? I'm not so sure about that. Well, that does it. It might be tough, but I won't accept second place. Let's go, me. I can do this. <laughs> Let's I'm go, this me. Book before sundown. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to say. Let's go, me. That's what I say before I'm about to edit, edit a video. I'm like, come on, Manx. Let's go, me. Come on, do it. Let's go. Do it. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's not going to do it, is he? That fruit plate really hit the spot. He's not going to do it. Time to get nice and snug. Maybe do some sewing. Hey, you Bernadetta. You look pretty happy. Celebrating something? What? You're gonna kill me, huh? Nothing at all. Hey, relax. It's okay if you'd rather not tell me. By the way, I believe you left something in the library. A half-written manuscript? Your own work, I presume? I was curious who it belonged to and gave it a read-through. You're a really talented writer. Oh, she's gonna writer. freak out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I looked at the first page, then the next, and I couldn't stop. I think it's good enough to publish. It's the kind of adventure story that will make people laugh and Oh, cry. she's gonna freak. I love how you never know. Oh, she's got she's got a fucking pass out. Next. I'm dying to read more. <laughs> uh, your mouth's hanging wide open. Bernadetta, are you okay? <laughs> Sorry. Um was someone talking about a story? Yes, that would be me. I read your book. You, you read my book? Yeah, and I loved it. Ah, I'm so humiliated. Please forget everything you read. Humiliated? No, I think when the he Lord discovers you're your fan fiction. Is humbled because and she's gone. <laughs> and she's gone. Well, what do I do with this book? <laughs> and she's gone. Oh, and she's gone. Read it. I regret everything. Even if I burn the pages, I can't burn his memory. Not unless <laughs> I throw him in the fire. Bernadetta. Too. No, that's awful. Don't think things like that, Bernie. <laughs> okay, that was a that was a good Bernie C support. I did not thought those existed. I am I am pleasantly surprised. What's this? Oh, Sylvain Dorothea. Oh my God. I I. I see where this is going. Oh, Sylvain, it's unusual to find you doing something other than hitting on women. Ah, Dorothea. I've been preparing to do just that, as it were. My intention is to flirt with the monastery's most beautiful flower, Dorothea herself. Oh, dear. And I'm all like your that. hard work. <laughs> you might as well save the effort. I'm not taking the bait. <laughs> oh, Dorothea, your wit is as sharp as your beauty. Don't you want just a little flirting? Just a sample? I'm not like all the others, you know. I don't doubt it. By not like all the others, do you mean how serious you are about being disingenuous when you flirt? And that is supposed to mean what exactly? Your social standing isn't bad, and you're not bad to look at or particularly dumb. You could easily be engaged by now. But you just flit from one woman to the next without settling on anyone. I bet you enjoy going out with them, but you hate women themselves. Oh, spot on. Me? Hate women? <laughs> that couldn't be further from the truth. I'm always serious when it comes to matters of the heart. When I flirt, I stake my life on it. Uh-huh. I'll believe it when I see it. Staking your life on a person is the sort of thing you should only do when you're in love. That's what I've been saying. I love you enough to stake my life on it. And I'm seriously in love with each and every girl I flirt with. I see. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not staking my life on you. So you'd better go and fall in love with someone else. Goodbye, Sylvain. <sighs> She's stone cold. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. We did it. We got through all the supports. There's so many. There is a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. I love him though. I really do. It was, it was even a good Bernadetta support. Where were those in the Black Eagles? Come on. Some of them aren't bad. Okay. 
Uh, uh, Bernadetta's like a B and A supports are usually pretty good, but her C supports are I find them very annoying. But this one was actually really funny. I love how she just stood there like <laughs> <laughs> just, you can just you could like you could see like the wheels spinning in her head. It was great. <laughs> Alright guys, we're done with the supports. In the next episode, we shall finally go and take on the Death Knight. Comment below, you think I can take the Death Knight? On my own. I won't help you. I'm not helping you. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why. That's why. <laughs> Do you think I can figure out a way to defeat the Death Knight on my own? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'm curious to see what you're, what you're gonna say. Uh, what should I do, guys? They should comment, like, <laughs> and subway. Subway. Oh my god, that sounds delicious right about now. Holy shit. Might have to. There's no like. There's. I have to go to the capital to go to Subway, man. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys see you guys next time bye bye